play. Georgia Tech gets their big fellas out. Look at right tackle Jordan Williams getting out. Right guard Keelan Rutledge to transfer from Middle Tennessee into the second level. And they're pushing people around, springing Rutherford on the bubble screen. I want to remind you, it's raining out there. It's first down and 10. Right down the field. Ames looking for some room in one cut and wiggles his way inside the five. This Georgia Tech offense sneaky good, Jesse. Well, you got to love the way that Georgia Tech has been able to respond to that Florida State first shot. Your head coach, Brent Key, right now, it's starting to rain. You're getting into your element. You're running the football, which is something they did so well a season ago. You're seeing some toughness physically from Georgia Tech, but also a lot of mental toughness. Seeing them respond on the first drive. Coach Key's offense, four plays run, three first down. Okay. Oh! It stops short at the one. Ains King really is a dynamic quarterback and a true dual. This is first and goal from the one. This area of the field down inside the 10 yard line is Ains King now coming out of the game. Zach Pyron, a backup quarterback, a little bit bigger, six foot three, 220 pounds, that they'll use in design QB run situations. Zach Pyron in the game. They use him basically as the big back. Direct snap. Here he goes straight. What do they do? We do. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Who's ready for ball this year? Man, oh, man, we got a great start here. by center Weston Franklin is going to bang down on a D line and then chip up here and get DJ Lundy a piece of him at linebacker and that really is what gives the space for Pyron to bust in for the touchdown. Aiden Burr puts it through. A tremendous way to respond by Georgia Tech. They didn't face a third down the whole way. Six plays, 79 yards. Pirate goes right in. An eight to seven game to open up the season early on. 